that we get to the mm-hmm. Father. You know, uh, hold on one second. Even, uh, even, you know, because uh, they, I just want to read something I wrote in this book, uh, talking about how she, they look ahead of the Queen of Heaven. And this is, uh, this is something hey, hey, that we get to the Father. Oh, my fault. You know, one second. This is something that, uh, Get back. Hold on. What happened? Okay. This is something that um, Mark Twain said. He said, in all seriousness, without meaning to be frivolous, without meaning to be irreverent, and more than all, without meaning to be blasphemous, I state as a sim- as my simple deduction from the things I have seen and the things I have heard that the holy personages rank thus in Rome. First, the mother of God, otherwise the Virgin Mary. Second, the deity. Third, Peter. Fourth, some 12 or 15 canonized popes and, more, and martyrs. Fifth, Jesus Christ. <laughs> so he said, Jesus is number five. <laughs> and the first one is Mary, because they worship her as the queen of heaven, which you could take all the way back to Babylon. Yeah, I, uh, one of my journeys uh, when I first started was to figure out like what, what the Catholic Church was about, because that's obviously where modern day Christianity as we know it starts from. So I was like, I wonder where they got where they believe from. And then I was, I started tracing it back. I'm like, one of like the most prof- profound things that I realized is like people are really worshiping the same gods yes. as they were thousands of years ago. And I'm like, yes. what yes. the heck? Yes. I, I, I mean, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, and 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 in Rome, I mean, in Rome, they, they take you all the way back to Babylon. Um, and it just, you know, it has a veneer of, you know, being about the Bible or being quote unquote Christian, but it's it's the Babylonian pagan mystery spiritual system that they are perpetuating. Mm-hmm. What's going on? What's going on, Brother Austin, Brother uh, Anthony, Brother Willie? Peace to you. Peace to you. Peace. Peace, brother. Brother Willie, he was Peace like, Willie. you brother got your Willie. time mixed up. Yes, sir. Good like me. That's <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I called in an hour same early. Here, same here. At least you trying to be on time. I appreciate it. Right. <laughs> All right. Now, I, now, who is this iPhone three? Who is this? <laughs> <laughs> who? Who is? Who announce yourself? No, I'm just playing. Uh, peace to you, brother. Hey, uh, brother Isaiah. Peace to you. How you doing? You I'm good, good, brother. Peace to all of you, brother. Dear. Good, good, brother Joseph. <laughs> How you doing, brother Joseph? You on mute, brother? I think you on mute. I'm doing good. I'm down here in South Florida. Okay. So you, is it? How's the weather? It's beautiful. I bet it is. I bet, <laughs> it, is. I bet it is. We 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 got barely fifty degrees and we happy. <laughs> it's about forty eight okay. degrees. We in rain and we happy. I'm sure uh, we reached close to 85 today. Oh, wow. Wow. Nice. I'm supposed to get 78 tomorrow. Ooh. Not in Jersey. Jersey. Yeah. You ain't getting no 78 degrees. 78 tomorrow. Man, y'all ain't getting no 78 degrees on March 26th. Hey, listen, we're bringing that Passover in nice and warm. I heard that, man. Man. Yes, sir. It's all good. It's all good. All right, brothers. Uh, we can go ahead and get started. Again, my my uh, my apologies for coming on late. I you know, scheduling was late. I just, I couldn't get off. Uh, had to work after today. So um, that being said, the topic is raising another man's seed. Raising. What somebody say? Is somebody say yeah or headache? I ain't hear what they say. No, I was laughing. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I thought his brother said headache. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, uh, so I like your thoughts, and I kind of want to give the floor to those who have done it. I know Joseph has done it. I know Khalil mentioned that he has done it. Brother <laughs> Willie has done it and is doing it. So I kind of want to hear from it, 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 if I'm missing anybody else. Jo- Joshua, you ain't got no kids, right? No, sir. See, I ain't got my own. I certainly ain't ready. Nobody else is right now. Okay, so, <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, um, we're blended family over here too. Okay, okay. See, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. So, um, I don't know who wants to start. Uh, hmm. I'll let the elders go first. Right. 
I was gonna say the same thing. So I don't even know Anthony or, or, or Joseph, which, whichever one. I don't know who's older. Well, I can tell you about my experience. Dude. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go ahead, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Go ahead. All right. Yeah, uh, my, mine has been uh, rather rather ple- pleasant. You know, uh, I hadn't. I hadn't had any uh, any problems, um, but you know, uh, I married a lady. She, she her, one of her mantras was that she don't, you know, she doesn't play with kids. So mm, that'll help. You know, uh, you know, so she always demands that respect. So it made it made things pretty simple for me. But um, uh, her son and her daughter from previous marriage. And uh, he was six when I first met him. And uh, uh, his name is Justin. And uh, uh, her daughter, China, she was twelve, I guess. So, you know, I had a good, I had a good experience, though. You know, really, really good kids. Um, uh, they had. You know a lot of respect for me, and uh, you know so things just went went well. You know I, I I treated them as though you know I was a parental father. You know what I mean? I mean I I didn't treat them any different than I would have you know my one of my own. And if you ask my own, <laughs> the older kids of mine, they would say you know they that uh, they got preferential treatment, you know, so. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> and maybe maybe I should preference what I'm, actually I probably should have gave some some information before I just came out and just start asking people. So the reason I, I, I brought this up is because particularly in general, you see this is something that's going on, obviously blended families, um, people raising up, men raising other people's children. That's a that's the that's almost the norm today, and in our communities, it's certainly the norm with with such a high out of wet uh, birth rate, and and only thirty eight percent of our children live with both parents, you know, and then you have fifty nine percent of our women that have more than one children, fifty nine percent of them have children by more than one man. And so when you look at that, what you see is a deficit. Even when you look at abortion in general, 85% of abortions um, are to unmarried women. So it lead, you see in general, and certainly in the black community, but in general, you see, again, fatherlessness being an issue. And you see a boy there, and the question is, are you willing to raise somebody else's child? So not with that information out there, brother Joseph. Thank you, brother Anthony, for that, brother Joseph. You go ahead, and you you busy right now? No, 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 no. I'm fine. Yes. Go oh, ahead. state your case, brother. <laughs> Actually, uh, they they're really they're really good children. Uh, one's fourteen. He's He's a typical teenager. Um, he was a teenager before he hit teenage years. But he was a, he's a real smart boy, and they're a really decent kids. Um, the little girl is precious. That's the one who asked you that question yesterday, last <laughs> night. But um, I, had to, I had to learn my place because <laughs> they're not my children. And... I raise them like mine, uh, and I try to I try to instill in them the importance of being obedient to their parents, and well, at, at the same time, you know, me as their stepdad, uh, according to uh, traditional terminology um, that you know I am I am regarded as their parent with um, 
it really doesn't hold as much clout as if they were of my own children. They have they have uh, their thoughts about it, and so it doesn't have as much weight as their own dad's, which they don't ever see once in a blue moon. Um, I've had hard times with it, but we've come to terms. We're we're coming to terms. We're getting better. Uh, about to have one of my own now, my first one. Congratulations. Yes. Wait, stop the press. Hold on. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Time out. Time out. He gonna gloss over. Yeah, I'm about to have one, you know. And uh back to, no, hold on, man. You about to have a child. Yes, sir. All praise is the most accurate. Congratulations. Oh, wow. Congratulations. Congratulations. I know that's that's something wild that you wanted, so that's a blessing. It, yes, that's a blessing. It is. Join the club, the illustrious club. Yes. <laughs> 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 a man with bills. No, I'm just playing. No, but congratulations. <laughs> congratulations. That's a, that's a blessing, brother. That's a it blessing. is. That's it is. Um, it, it looked like it just wasn't going to happen for a while, but I'm praising God. I'm thankful. Yeah. I'm, I'm praying all the time for the capacity to raise a godly seed. Mm. Mm. Of course, I pray for the health of the mother and the child all the way to term and after, of course, raise the child and I pray to God for the, to grant me the capacity to raise a godly seed. Most high, brother. Yeah, that's, that's, that's all good. That's all good. You'll be all right. Yeah, you, you, yeah. Yeah, that's all good. You'll be all right. Yeah, yeah. I can remember them days first, man. I don't, I don't, I don't understand how. Just a side note, I don't understand how young people, when they be really young, did. I had a job and a, and place to stay. Were married, and I was terrified. <laughs> mm. <laughs> the first child, you know, I was like, man, I don't see. And then, you know, just coming in contact with young people, they be 15, 16, having a child. I don't see it. Well, I guess they just passed the child on. I guess they ain't really taking full responsibility. For me, it was. I wasn't terrified, but I was like. This is a, this is obviously, this is, this is a grown folks business here. <laughs> How old were you, may I ask, for your first child, sir? Uh, like 26 or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, I was, I was married already. And, and like I said, I had a job but still, it was, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then after a few of me, like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> after, after about four, you like, all right. <laughs> but that first, you like, oh my. Goodness. Oh my goodness. What what awesome. mm. nope? What do you mean by nope? You, what, nope. Oh no children. <laughs> that uh that, that I said 26. That's that's uh that's pretty that's four more years from now. For you? Oh, for you. Yeah. No life right. changed a great deal in four years, sir. You said this is oh, true. You change in four years, you right. I like it change in four years. I wasn't even the same man I was at 26 than I was at 22. You're right, you're right. To be quite honest with you, twenty six. Yeah, it's like when I get twenty four, it was like a it was like a jump between two personalities almost. A brain development. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, you your brains, you know. Well, it, it, it's in the twenties when your brain's still developing. So think about when you was eighteen. I know when I was eighteen. I man, yeah, yeah. crazy. crazy. Yeah. You thought it was a good idea to go one hundred miles an hour on the highway just because. Because a car can do it. Because <laughs> a car can do it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Partying, doing all that, man. Nah. Oh, well, yeah, I'm not. Yeah. And now, I'm old. <laughs> I'm old. But, uh, uh, but thanks for that, Brother Joseph. Again, praise the most high. Yes, mm -hmm. thank you. Yeah, that's the last praise brother. God. Brother, brother Willie. Yes, sir. Uh, what's, 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 what's your thoughts on this, brother? Um, I got positive thoughts on it. Um, to be honest with you, I think my father set the bar mm. for me. Uh, seeing how he raised four kids that wasn't his and me living in the household couldn't tell the difference because he treated everybody the same. And um, growing up, I guess every young boy wants to be better than his father. So with that in mind, when I met my first wife, she had a daughter, she was one. And I was kind of on the fence if I should, you know, really date her, you know, because she had a kid. But then I 
that question came up like, hey, look, your father raised four kids that wasn't his. You want to be better than him, you got to do five. So that one was a start. So that one was a start. <laughs> so that one was a start. And um, <laughs> that's just the way I'll be, you know, putting things together. And that's so, how you can compete. Okay. That's how I was competing. I, but I looked at that like my father was a big love given person. Like when I think of those scriptures of take care of the widow and the fatherless, I think of what my father did. Mm. And um, it just gave me the courage to move forward and say, you know what, I could do it. And all praise to the most high, that little girl, you know, I raised her since she was one and me, their mother split when she was nine. Mm. And I was, I was there for that child. Like the biological family really took hold to what I said, if she should have something or not have something. That's how much I was in her life or they, they value my opinion of this child's, uh, what she should be getting in terms of like rewarded from the biological family on the father's side, because he will be in and out. The biological father will be in and out and they'll talk to me over the phone about her and her behavior and things like that. So I would sometimes tell them, hey, look, she, she wasn't doing well in school. You know, one time she was having a trip to go to Disney World and I said, she was doing bad all week. I don't think she should go. And paid for a trip, they said, she ain't going because they value that, you know, I was giving an honest assessment of her. I treated her just like I treated any of my other children. And she actually came before I had any children with my uh, first wife. So, um, yeah, and the child loved me and I had respect for the situation, but also knew that I was raising that kid and uh, I demanded respect. And the mother made sure that this child saw me as that figure who, not her father, because she had a father there, but he's the man of this house. And uh, she respected it. The child was said something crazy, but yo, look, this is a crazy life to live in. And we ain't gonna be playing no disrespect. I love the boy, that's my stepson. He's here with me today. And the older one, he still lives in New York with his uh, grandmother, good relationship. But the relationship between me and the 16 year old is like really grown in the last year, I would say, as he, matured into teenage years, um, spending more time just doing things I know his father wasn't around doing that my father gave him, you know? So plus having my own four and those three stepchildren, it's, it's not easy to care for so many different people and like have to change levels sometimes with the way you direct your energy and love and things like that. So you always got to be mindful which child you're talking to. Um, is this one yours, you know, things of that nature. So yeah, um, that was my, that's my take on it. I don't mind it as long as we could all play ball the right way. I, pre I appreciate you. <laughs> <laughs> brother, <yeah. laughs> well, first, really, I appreciate you, brother. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, so uh, open open up to the to the people who are not raising somebody else's seed. Uh, what do you think about that? That as something to do? Would you do it, or is that something that's totally out of the question? Or what parameters would you do it under, brother Josh? What you think, bro? Uh, <coughs> all right. Uh, well, uh, the way I look at it, you know. I think that, uh, you know, uh, you don't always know what God he has in, in, in store for you. Mm. You know, uh, I know what the scriptures say for sure. I know the scripture, it says, you know, you take care of the widows and you take care of the fathers. Okay. Stop for a second. I apologize. Let me, let me, let me just, if I could just interrupt. All right. I'd have heard widows twice. Right. So I, I, the reason I say that is because, um, we're not talking see, about how many people, women are widows? All right, so mm. about like women in general, about 9% are widows, okay? Black women in as about 8%, okay? So it's roughly 9%. 
the most of the women that, and, and let me say this, about 12% of women are divorced, okay? For black women, it's about 13%, so it's roughly the same, right? So take that out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we talking about widow, that's, that's not the norm. Yeah, right? nine times out of 10, you ain't dealing ain't with a no like that together. You know? My man down the street, you see what I'm saying? Uh -huh. He still called the house. So I, that's why that's why I said uh, that, because I'd have heard it twice. That's what, But go ahead, brother. <laughs> uh, it's a uh, it's a big responsibility you know, to be able to take care of uh, somebody else's <laughs> kids, but at the same time, it's uh, it's, it's not ideal, you know, for me. It's it's you know, it's not ideal. I I would like to you know be with somebody who don't have any kids and who want to have kids by me. Okay, you know. At, Hey, you, 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 you say, hey, state your case, brother. I yeah, just, yeah, I just yeah. want to, now I'm just pulling it out as to why you say that. Not saying you wrong. I'm not saying you wrong. I just want to know why you say that. I say that because uh, there could be a lot of problems that backfire upon you. Not particularly, not even necessarily particularly with the child, right. but with the mother. Right. Right. That's usually, you know, from the things that I see, things I've experienced a little bit, that's usually the problem, you know. Uh, you know, she don't want to. If, if you're doing right, you working, and things like that, and um, you know, you're doing the best that you can do to provide. You know, saying you're trying to be a, you know, you being a strong male figure. You see that this child needs a father, things like that. You know, and you say, okay, I'm, I'm gonna take this child in my wings, but this person is not really respecting you and you can't um you can't uh, discipline the child and that's 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 a problem and a lot of times uh you know i mean i've i've, I've experienced that a little bit you know it did it didn't it didn't work out well yeah yeah brother you ain't have to you ain't have to uh pussy for that you could have just said that brother <laughs> you know, was like well uh <laughs> I, 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 hey brother that hey nothing wrong with what you said ain't no he said, I don't think nothing wrong with what you said. Mm -hmm. you try to be politically correct. I understand that you respect. Right, right. I'm trying to be think. I'm trying to think. You know about and how to, how to put things. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that brother was like Obama. Oh, he was like, uh, well, uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's how Obama be when he started to think about. Oh Lord, how how Putin gonna interpret this? <laughs> 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 no, I appreciate you, bro. Uh, Okay, who, uh, brother, who wants to go next? Who wants to go next? Brother Elvis, you want to go? Or? Uh, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll just talk from my perspective coming up, where I was then to where I am now. Okay. Uh, I got to give kudos to the men that, that do that. Because obviously they had more courage than I did at the time. <laughs> and I have to give kudos to the uh, lady, especially my wife, who took uh, my daughter in and treated mm -hmm. her good. Yeah, okay. that, that they work on the other end. Well, yeah. you still on the other end. Uh, so because I've I've seen families where uh, the, you ain't my daddy comments or you ain't my mama comments and all those, and I didn't want any part of it. So I'm I'm like I'm a hypocrite right now, but uh, God gave me a good woman, that, uh, and she dealt with some of that ignorance, you know. So I had to give her all the love in the world for her too. Uh, but 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 who I was then. Uh, what do you call it? Shallow or self-centered? It was a. Uh, it was. It was a. It was something I was. I was running from. So why do you say shallow or self-centered? Why do you think you? Because I didn't want to deal. It was all about me. Does that make you self-centered? Does that make you? Well, if, it, if it's all about me, I I'm assuming that's the way. Because um, you take it on somebody else's child. That's a sacrifice that you have to make, right? A hundred percent. Okay, so but that's what I'm saying. It ain't uh, necessarily a responsibility. Oh, oh, no, I agree with that. Yeah. I agree with that. But if I take her, if I take that woman with the child, now it's my responsibility, right? So that's the reason why I said I, I was, man, I ran from a lot of stuff back then. If, if your mama talked too much, I, was, I would run away. Uh, so, uh, no, I'm not saying that it's right or wrong, especially nowadays that uh, there aren't many people who don't have uh, children. Uh, so 
it was it was much it was much for me at that time to deal with because I understood the struggle. Uh, I talked to my cousin who had a uh, stepdaughter, and he he didn't feel like he had the right to correct her because he said it wasn't really his daughter. So the dynamics in those relationships, it was more than I was willing to deal with. That's why I tipped the hat to all you gentlemen and ladies to do it. So, let's 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 before we keep going, let's let's deal with that. That okay. is, as far as discipline, you bring it up because that's that's I've heard it a few times. Yeah. And you I like okay, so just in my occupation, seeing it and seeing how young people talk about step parents and seeing witnessing firsthand some things growing up. Um I know that's that's one issue. Mm -hmm. Can you discipline this child? Will will the month mainly like my brother Josh said, mm -hmm. will the woman allow you to discipline the child as needed? And I'm not saying in every case. And I'm not even talking about discipline like any corporal punishment. I'm talking about discipline in general. Mm -hmm. right. Um, you know, I've seen cases, I give a prime example, this one that comes to mind where uh, a man he was going to marry, and this is a young, young, young person telling me this. Yeah, my mother's going to get married to this guy, you know. He's now her father's not in her life. Her biological father's not in her life at all. But she was, she's talking, and she's saying, you know, yeah, he's buying me this stuff, trying to, you know, trying to make a relationship with me and all this stuff. But I don't, you know, she's, she really was talking disrespectfully. And I'm just listening, and she said, yeah, you know, and uh, you know, he. Don't give me two hundred dollars for my birthday, like that's something. I'm thinking in my head, like you tripping. And she keeps, she keeps talking, right? And she says, yeah. And he gonna ask me the other day if he could help, if I could help him out and wash the dishes. He was doing something. He, she said he asked to wash the dishes, and I said, and she said my mother didn't tell me to wash the dishes. Mm -hmm. And he was like, but I'm I'm asking you to do me a favor just to wash the dishes for me because I, I I ran behind on something. And she's describing the whole thing. And so, make a long story short, she calls her mother. And her mother gets on the phone and she said, my mother told him he didn't tell, uh, he didn't, she didn't tell me to wash the dishes so I don't have to wash them. So that's not even this, this so that right there, mm -hmm. that whole not being able to discipline, you see that quite a bit, at least I've seen it. I've seen it like I've personal issues that I've seen. Mm -hmm. um, I've never had a stepfather, but I've seen up close and personal some issues with discipline, with uh, and just many conversations with, quite frankly, with young people and how they view sometimes how they view step. And now on, on some they view them as, hey, that's their father, mm -hmm. but on some it's clearly not, and the mother would not allow the discipline, mm -hmm. you know. Well, you know, and then not only that, the father sometimes you better not put you better not say nothing to my child because that is their child. We talking biblically, that is their child. That's kind of the problem I had at that one time. Mm -hmm. uh, he had he had uh, certain ideas being in the military and knowing that I, you know, had trouble past and stuff. So he was really against me being you know, trying to discipline them the way I was. I was kind of strict, and they're actually you know, they're really good children. So you know, this it wasn't a problem with her as much as it was with him. She's okay. Uh, the, the the mother, their mother is okay. Yeah, it it is. It, it was their dad. It was their dad that was mainly the big problem I had. Yeah, and and then you look at it though. At least, at least how I look at it biblically. I mean, that's his seed. Yeah, yeah. You can't like I know. I know the society has said this. You know, the child, all the children belong to the mother. She is the prime soul uh, authority when it comes to children. But quite. When you look at it biblically, it's just the reverse. They're like those are the those are children belong to the to the father. Oh, that's right. Yeah, and so you know you know what she does, she incubates that seed and gives it to the father. You know, I you know I just um, when I look at that, 
um, not being able to discipline a child. If I could just quite frankly, I could not, I could not have children in my house that I can't discipline. Well, it's come full circle. Yeah, yeah. I would have an issue with that. I've been able to, to kind of hold my own and discipline them because, you know, I'm, I'm ruling my household. So, you know, they have to, they have to come to under, you know, some understanding. Yeah. And it's help. It's, 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 it's a blessing when you have, like you said it and brother Anthony said it and even Willie said it, when you have good children. Mm-hmm. But when you don't have good children, like when you have some children that, you know, like I've seen, I've seen it, like um, especially like young young boys, they don't want to hear anything that that other guy has to say, and more and a lot of times that's not the only other guy that's come in the picture. They don't they they feel and and one thing you often see is that, and this some of this might be cultural to be quite honest with you, but a lot of times you will see our black you see uh, sisters put put the the male child in a position of a husband and an authority figure. It's almost like it's a it's a weird dynamic. It's like nah he's he's a, he's a boy. I'm not saying sexually in any type of way like that. I'm just saying like nah and he had that mindset like I'm the boy and he was this. <laughs> like man, yeah, hey, what are you talking about? <laughs> but he he's uh, 14 now. He's still he's still having problems giving up that control. Trying mm-hmm. to raise his little sister and making decisions in the family. I'm like, hey, wait, look, you know, you're just a child. And he's having a hard time giving that up. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's. A lot of, a, a lot of that comes from like, if the moms are making bad decisions. I, I, I grew up like that. My mom and dad, they got divorced, I think when I was about five. And uh, so my mom took, took us from Arkansas to Saginaw, Michigan. And I stayed there in Saginaw until I was like 11. But my mom, some of the, you know, uh, well, the only guy I can remember that she chose, I mean, he just wasn't a good guy. So, you know, uh, you know, that, that'll cause a, a young man, you know, uh, who, you know, think he's supposed to protect his mom if his dad's not around, you know, to kind of, want to fill that role, you know, protect his mom, you know, so uh, yeah. that could be tough on a young man, you know what I'm saying? It, you know, because, yeah. and the mom might, might might want to pay attention to, to what he, you know, at least talk to him. I mean, you know, let him know if he, if he out of line or whatever, but, you know, I, I just, I just grew up in a situation like that. Yes. And when I, when I moved back in with my dad when I was 11, he came and got us, but I met my, my, I met my stepmom for the first time when I was when I was 11. I think they had been married for a couple of years. So I was on the other end of that, too, where I just thought she couldn't tell me anything. And of course, my mom, she was the type of mom that would back me up and stuff like that. So, so I, I, <laughs> she backed yeah. you up with what you were saying. Uh, adult can't tell you anything. Yeah. You know, you know, my mom. You know, yeah, <laughs> you can't tell what to do. You know, I, I, don't hit me, don't touch me. You know that type yeah, of stuff. You know? And that's 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 a recipe for disaster. Yeah, I mean, you know, without my dad, man, you, you know, him being the way he was, not, not saying you weren't going to uh, disrespect his wife. You know. Yeah, because you, if you think about it, you even 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 if he was a bad guy. No other man should invoke himself in a in a in between a man and a woman, let alone a child. It's a complicated situation. Like, it, it, and then you think about it from the child's perspective. Like, you're looking at him like you're not my father. You know. Right. And then you thinking about the thinking about like I can't imagine somebody telling telling them what my kids can do or can't do. You see what I'm saying? That's a that's that's it's it's really a difficult situation. I was raised um, I was raised by my mother. Uh, at nine years old, she divorced my real father, and so uh, eventually there came another man, which wasn't real good. And that's my step my my youngest brother is by him, and he got away with everything, but. His dad, uh, 
I had that same feeling that, you know, he's not my dad. You know, after so many whippings from him, I got to a point where I just, I wasn't going to let him touch me no more. I just ran away from him. He wasn't going to run after me down the road, you know. <laughs> so as a little kid, that's the way I was. And so uh, I had a lot of, uh, had a, a lot of hard years after that, uh, trying to learn how to, to grow up. Because it was a real good, uh, it was no real good examples in my life. Yeah, that's a Even my real father. I mean, he came to visit us for a little while uh, after the divorce. I remember like two, maybe three visits. But then after that, it was a, it was like he said, "Don't, don't call me," or you know, stuff like that. Um, it was, uh, but that was over with. So yeah, he good. wasn't there to be an example either. Yeah, that's difficult. I picked up my um my so my cousin moved out of Virginia when I was about nineteen and his daughter I think was probably maybe maybe thirteen or fourteen months old. And he left and you know she's blood and I'm like somebody somebody somebody's gotta be this baby's dad, right? And at that point, you know, I'm nineteen at the time, I'm like you know, the only option is to, you know, you know, have her mom do all the work. And her mom is the same age as me. We graduated the same year. So I knew, you know, being a single mom at 19 is not easy, especially when, you know, you don't have a, you don't have a job and you, you want to have a job, but you, know, you also want to go to school. So I had been working at the time I was working at uh, Nissan. And so I was like, well, I just got to do what I got to do. And I got to, I got to take care of this baby. And one thing, uh, I first had a conversation with her mom. I was like, "Hey, you know, when she's when she gets older, I'm 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 gonna have to discipline her. And is that okay with you?" And of course, she ended up she ended up saying, "Yeah, right." Because one, I'm family, and two, she realized that she needed that discipline. And I asked my cousin, but I knew eventually my cousin. Hey, hey, brother, hold on, brother Khalil, can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, brother. I don't know. Could y'all hear yourselves, or was it just me on my end? I heard him. You heard him. Okay, keep, keep yeah, going. Yeah, okay. Go ahead. Go okay, ahead. Okay. My internet is acting like I ain't paid for it or something. <laughs> so I asked my cousin, and I knew eventually he was he was going to be out of the picture because he was kind of he was in his own he was in his own head for a while. So I start raising her, and I start teaching her discipline. And I, you know, one day I you know I sat down with myself, and I was just like, "This is an interesting situation overall because it's it's." I mean, yeah, my cousin is my family, but it's another man's child. And I thought to myself, you know, at what point, you, at some point you have to make the decision as to whether you're going to let the child fall to the wayside and be worried about what, you know, in my case, what the father thinks, or you can be, a, you know, be like overly aware of what the father thinks and potentially allow, allow that child to lead down a bad path. And I was like, this is blood. I don't, I don't want her going down that path. And I think as long as you do your best to make sure that this, like to make sure the, ch the child knows that this discipline is coming from a, a place of love, they'll only be so mad, especially when they get older. They'll, you know, nine times out of 10, they'll realize this dude really loved me. To put up with all the nonsense that I put him, that I have, that I put him through, this dude like really loves me. And like, so I ended up going off to the military two years later and I didn't think, you know, my, my niece was like a year and a half, two years old at that point when I left. And I was worried because I didn't think she was going to remember me. But to this day, she knows, she, I mean, she knows who I am. She knows my name and she knows, she knows what I did for her. And she still remembers like stuff that we did, which is amazing because she's eight now. And my, um, so she has a new stepdad and her stepdad tells me all the time that the stuff and the impression and love that I left on her still shows to this day and he said if it wasn't for me she probably wouldn't know what love was mm. because my cousin my cousin never came back at that point he never came back mm. so wait a minute this is okay so you basically filled in the gap that your cousin for your cousin male that was a male his child yeah gotcha gotcha wow wow okay 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 yeah yeah all right, thank you for that. Uh, anybody else, brother? Uh, let's get this younger in here, brother Austin, brother. Uh, 
What? <laughs> this young buck. What? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like being unleashed on the world soon. You still, what, uh, what, what, what do you think about this situation? Raising somebody else's child. I hear, I hear Obama nope. too. <laughs> oh, he said no. <laughs> okay, why? <laughs> give, nope. give us the reason nope. why, brother. Why would I, I? I ain't even been on level one yet. Why would I start on level twenty? <laughs> that just don't make no sense to me. So for me, I could never do it. I could never do. I just it marrying somebody is already a burden. So why would I pick up somebody else's somebody else's burden anyway when I gotta, you know, okay carry my own. So hey. I uh, that's, <laughs> that's where I was at his age, man. Huh? That's where I was at his age. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's where I was. I, was like, <laughs> I mean, I can't, I mean. To be honest with you, at least if I look at it personally, I think I think it's all that that comes to what you're willing to deal with as, as a man, basically. What right. you're willing to do. That's a decision you have to take. And that's not for everybody. Like I can't say that's for me. I'm gonna be honest with you. Right. But the reason it's not for me is because I can't. But I do see the need. And I'm not like, like okay, let's say for I'm not I'm not in that position, never been in that position, but Again, you can't be in my house if I can't discipline you. You can't be in my house if somebody else outside of my house can tell, tell you, no, this is the program you're gonna do because I'm your father. You can't call my house talking about, let me speak to you. <laughs> you can't, uh, and nor can a young person walk around here calling me by my first name. That's like you marrying three people at one time. Three people. You marrying the, the woman, then you marrying whoever she was with before that. And then you marrying them kids. So that's three people. I just and, need more. And it's, it's, yeah. Now, if it was a straight up adoption or something like that, okay. But even then, you know, and then it's the circumstances. How would those child, well, how did those children come about? You know, as he's, yeah. like I was saying, when you look at statistics, okay, is this, you, you got two children by two different men? You know, so two different guys gonna call the house. Like, yeah, I can't. You know, so I, you know, me personally, it's a, it's a, uh, it's mainly from the position of I know that that's that man's seat, and he got all the authority. Even in my house, you can't have the authority in my house. The, my wife can't have the authority in my house. I got to have the authority in my house. Otherwise, <laughs> it won't be no house. This uh, let me let me add something to it. This, you know, I had a friend of mine after I had been married uh, to my wife. I guess probably about maybe about two or three years. I, I don't know how long we had been married, but he said to me when I was talking to him one time, he said, "Man, I can't believe you married uh, a woman with kids." Mm -hmm. And you know, he, he, he was just reminding me of, of either something I had said before or just, uh, you know, I guess how, how, how well he, he thought he knew me. But the, my point is, is that I believe that I always said that to myself. I don't know where I, how, how I thought I could get away with that, you know, knowing I already had three boys before I was, let me see, my, my, uh, 95 was, was, uh, was when, uh, my other, one of my sons was born before, before marriage and all that. So how, you old, know, but, are you? how old are you? Uh, let me see. So, uh, that, that means I was, I was about probably 20. Okay. You know, so, uh, you know, I, I guess, you know, I was big headed, whatever you want to call it, but I, I always said that too. You know what I'm saying? But, my point in saying all that is that, man, I, I was uh, I was already ready to marry this girl before, uh, before I even knew it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, it wasn't even the kids were no issue at that point. You know, it was like, I, I like you. You know, I, you're the type of girl I, you know I can marry, and that, that's that's just how it went. And and it wasn't, I didn't see the kids as an obstacle at that point. You know what I'm saying? I, it's like it didn't even. It just all happens just that fast, you know what I mean?
and you you said something. You said she she don't play with kids. That make all the, yeah. that make all the difference. It's, yeah, it is. It's all individual. So I'm not I'm not right. a blanket statement out here. I'm talking about yeah. like like you talking about for you, brother Joshua, brother AKA Barack Obama. He <laughs> that brother yeah. Jack, he said it for him, brother Austin immediately. Uh, Doctor Nope over there. Uh, you know, hey, I I, I just but that sums it all up. Yeah, it's a, it pers- right. it's all personal, yeah. like you said, like your yeah. situation. It's all situational, you know. Mm-hmm. It's and so, like for me, I was like, no. It could, and then seeing what I saw growing up, quite frankly, things real close to me, seeing that, I, I, it's certain things I saw in my head that I want. I said, I don't, I want to be married and had children. I don't want children not being married. I said I wanted a big family. And when I saw, you know. Certain things growing up, I said, "Oh no," because the level of disrespect, quite frankly, that I saw, it wasn't nice and peachy like y'all were describing. I saw instances very close to me where you had men taking care of children and being disrespected, and they backwards and forwards, mm. backwards and forwards, and it couldn't be me. And 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 when I and, and it's not a let's say hypothetically, I had children already. I still would say the same thing. And the reason I would say the same thing, the reason I would say the same thing is because we we not equal in the house. See, so you talking about like, so like you as a woman saying, well, you got kids. Yeah, it's still my house though. Like I'm the authority in this house. You're not the authority. You are a authority. I am the authority in this house. And that's what makes it, that's why I look at it as different for men and women. If you come in as a man, if you take care of your responsibility, you come in as a man, he's saying, this is my house then it can't be nobody else from outside. Put my son on the phone. <laughs> I can't, I, I, me personally, I can't, I couldn't, I couldn't deal with that. I, I was just gonna say that, uh, that I'm, I'm not sure how things were when you guys were younger, but it's kind of, it's, it's a lot different for us because it takes so long for you to get established to even provide for anybody. So once you do get to that point, why would you why would you want to go you you work so hard for yourself to get where you need to be? Why would you go and want to, you know, marry somebody who already has some some kids? I'm not sure if it was like that when, you know, you, you all were my age, but that's just how it is now. Now we can go right to the sawmill and get a job. Uh you <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're saying though, brother. Because his he is he is making a valid point, at least in my estimation. Y'all tell me what y'all think. It takes, it takes like my generation, and I'm 40. It took, it take, it was starting to take a longer time to get established. My father came out of high school. You can go straight to the mill, get a job. Hey, your sole income could raise a family. But that's not, and it's certainly not the case for these youngins coming out. Matter of fact, talking about marrying somebody with children, they are delaying marriage. Period. Right. Right. They're delaying marriage. Yeah. A lot of them don't even uh. Want to get want to even have children? You know, they don't what I'm want saying? children. Don't want to get married. Yeah. Well, it's funny because my wife and I we've been together. Ooh, I'm over. Yeah, ten years now, married for like six, and we still don't got no kids. I, I raised one pretty much from one to two. <laughs> I don't have none of my own right now. Is that something that you want? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, they're they waiting for the perfect time nowadays, aren't they? Yeah, something like that. Well, not just you, but you got to remember, I got a lot of kids. I only got one grandkid because uh, my children are saying, I don't know how y'all afforded it. And, and yeah, that's what it's, ta- it's taking them. That's what he's saying. It's yeah. taking them a lot. It's taking them almost to their 30 to get to get on their feet. Yeah, that's how it is with me. Right. Because uh, I know y'all want to <laughs> own a house and I'm, it's like they didn't price kids out of the housing market now, you know, so. Uh-huh. They don't quit your uh, retirement way, way back. Right. Oh yeah, you be 75 about to retire. <laughs> no, nah, but the, you know, if you look at it too, like um, it's regional too. Yeah. If you in California, forget about it. You know, a lot of these young people, it's kind of, it's, it's, it's similar to how when you go to places like India, the young men, it's so much poverty, they can't even get married. 
And even though this is a quote unquote first world country, it's a lot, it's like that for a lot of young people. They're like, I can't get me, I can't, I can barely take care of myself. I saw one place in California, man, a, you paying high apartment prices for a bunk. Like dormitory style. When I stayed in, um, so I'm stationed in Maryland right now. I was stationed in Hawaii before this. Uh, one bedroom studio downtown. It was like twenty three to twenty seven hundred a month to rent. <laughs> you hey, he didn't say. I, I, correct me if I'm wrong. He didn't say a three bedroom apartment or a two bedroom. I don't even think he said bedroom at all. I think he said studio. Studio. That's one room, right? Yeah, one big room. Um, one big room. My children's apartment rent is more than my house, right? Uh, well, when I was paying for it, it was more than the house now. Yeah. Their rent in a two bedroom apartment costs more than my house. I, I was talking to my dad yesterday and he, I asked him how much he paid for the house that uh, I grew up in. He said- 2,000. He said 18,000. I'm like, what? <laughs> I'll bring house. Your car, hey, the cars you sell cost more than two story. Yeah, <laughs> two story all brick house. Yeah. What? Oh, sell for 180 or something. Who knows? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, man. It's, it's, that's what I'm saying. They can't get on their feet and they're coming out here with these, uh, man, they're coming out here with all this loans, loan debt. And you come out all this loan debt, they give you that diploma, man. You, you walk off the stage, that diploma just disappear in your hand. Like, what, what, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> You be working at Walmart. Yeah, man, it's, 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 it's rough, man. It's rough out here. Giving you these doggone degrees, they just drew up with some crayons. Yeah, but uh, I don't know. But I see your point, brother. I see your point. You're looking at it logically. Brother Isaiah, you, you at home now. I saw you driving earlier. You want to you wanna, uh, yeah. weigh in? You see, uh, yeah, brother. Um, thanks for having me. Um, I grew up with a stepfather, right? It was something like the Brady Bunch. My mom had two kids and my stepfather had two kids. And I grew up with my stepfather from when I was like two years old and my brother was like a month. And up to this day, I cannot call my, I cannot address my biological father as dad. I could only call him by his name. And my stepfather, I have this different comfort this different feel when, when I'm with him, right? Because he disciplined us, you know, island people, they always whooping. Uh, he, he would discipline us. And my mom, she would discipline the girls as well. So I had two sisters and my brother. And eventually they had a kid together. My brother, he's, he's in San Diego there. And um, he, he didn't teach us anything about God and, and the scriptures. They would just tell you go to church and let somebody else do it. And they did it wrong, right? But <clears throat> he taught us the discipline to respect the elders, the, the, these natural things that you're supposed to do when you go outside and prepare us outside. Here. And I would always, whenever he lives in Brooklyn now. So whenever I um, travel over, I'd always go and see him and spend time with him. And my stepfather lived in same Brooklyn too. And he would he would hide from us because I would tell him. Right. But um, having taken care of someone, someone else's kid, um, as the other brothers say, it all depends on both parties and the head of the party, the mom and the 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 dad. Most most I know my dad was not wrong. My, Biological father was no wrong. So um, my stepfather was who we look for for that leadership in the house, right? Mind you, he sailed, he sailed for like eight months in a year. So we'd see him for four months. And he would sail the entire world. And you get to see the world through his eyes. But our mom was there to do all the discipline and all the teaching and every, every other thing else, right? Mm -hmm. But in the sense of having a kid and bringing up someone else's kid, um, it depends on the situation, right? And how old is that kid to? The age at which I enter their life, right? And um, the, the external relationship, the biological relationship from, from, like from the father, right? Um, how, he, how his relationship is 
with the with the kid. But otherwise, I um, I not gonna do that. I did. I I I um, I have my kids, and it's a struggle. Like like I was a struggle with me and my mom, with with me and my stepfather with with my, my brother. But um, this child ought to be like young, right? Under my indoctrination, under my teaching, under my weight, right? And and that's that's what I I think. For me, it should be. Yeah, and right? you, you said indoctrination, and that's a whole other yeah. element of it. When you think about the word, more than likely, this child is the child's father is not going to believe what you believe. Exactly, yeah. and then it's a struggle, right? Inside, yeah. outside struggle. Yeah, that could, that could, yeah. And so you so. you create a situation as to where. It's hard enough to where you're trying to get your if you, if your wife's not on board. Let's say you're in the world, your yeah. wife's not on board, trying to get her, and then not only her, if you have children, then her children, and then somebody else has input. You know. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's a. It's a. Now I, I did want to touch upon something. A couple things. One thing you said. You said you can't address your father by his by. You can't I just can't. I just can't say that. Yeah, it, gotcha. It, gotcha. It, man, let me give you the situation. I born 72, so guys, you know, do the math, right? 70, sorry, do the math. 79, my dad show up on the scene, right? Back in St. Vincent. 79, the volcano erupting and rumbling and shaking. You know, epic experience if you guys get to experience it, right? You see the power guard in that thing and you, 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 you shake. 79, he showed up with his family. No biggie, you know. I grew up with my stepfather, no, nothing wrong. But then the volcano erupted and my fat, father said to, to a nine-year-old and a seven-year-old, you know, fellas, you know, um, volcano erupting, how to take my family and go. And, and he's going to Trinidad. And we look at each, at seven years, you remember these things, these things in print, right? Mm -hmm. And you look at these, you, you, you think like you're going to because this is your dad right and this man pack up and jump on a plane and go to another island and and you did supposed to die on the volcano right so those feelings grew man they grew on you and they they, they, they. Uh, look i disrespect any name or anything if like i went over there some time ago and i see him in a state and i said yo you, you need help and he's refusing Right, and this is the thing. I don't mind doing it, but it has to be a young kid, under five, five years under, right? Where it's it's. <laughs> I don't want to say this. If we were like, like lions, you know, when we take over, we kill the cubs. Like, <laughs> there's something about that, right? Wow. And that's not what I think. That's not what I think. It, but it's it's the whole that whole thing. There's a meaning behind it. Yeah, graphic in it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because okay, because okay, if you want to take it there, let's say this real talk. If you want to be honest. Well, I'll be honest. Uh, you're basically fulfilling somebody else's biological imperative. Their exactly. bio, that's, that's their see that's their biological imperative. The biological imperative of human beings and animals is to is to produce offspring and have them to thrive. Yes, yes. And in order to do that, it takes great sacrifice on your part, unless somebody else will raise them for you. And your biological imperative is still fulfilled. Yeah. And on the flip side of that, the legacy is not yours. No. So, and then, that's why, and so that leads me to a question when I was at, like, when I think about it, because brother, quite frankly, brother Willie made me think about it. He said he raised a young girl. And then when you separate, what's your relationship with that child now? Are you still able to have that relationship? I haven't had it in the last seven years. That's what I'm saying. Because the situations that I said I was close to, that I witnessed, those, you... I saw somebody take care of kids like they were they were his own, uh, raise them up, like he was their own, provide for them, take care of them. When, when they fathers 
wasn't there. And what happened at the end of the day, it was one of them, thank you. And it was like, not even a thank you, just you raised this person from a child and not no connection whatsoever. Not saying that's in every case. I'm not saying that, but the cases that, that's what made me think about it initially, like, nah. But uh, yeah, cause you don't, cause then that's what I'm saying. You, you establish this relationship because you said under five, that means you mold and you indoctrinate, as you said, with the world, you doing these things. And then what if it don't work? Or what if the father who's who hasn't, like you said, your father wasn't there. Let's say he, let's say he come back to the island and say, hey, I want to be in your life. That that complicates matters too. And, that, and that's his right. But now that complicates matters. You know, or maybe I'm looking at it. I don't know. I know how I'm, I'm just looking at it that way. Like, man, if he said, I want to do something now. And then he wants to exert his authority. And you looking at him like, you ain't been here. He like, well, I'm here now. I, I have thought about that first example. Which one? Like if, 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 if the uh, mother, like if, if uh, you know, if the mother, if like if me and my wife hadn't, if we didn't make it, Mm -hmm. I thought about that, you know, like the attachment hey. to the kids. Yeah, 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 like yeah, yeah. Because mm -hmm. quite frank, man, I, you man, you run into kids. Something is, you know, people talk about kids. These kids bad, man. These kids bad. There's some good kids out here that act that got some sense. There's <laughs> some yeah. out here, you know. You, you, they have that are uh, that are good kids, and like man, and so you build a bond with them. That's kind of that's like that's similar to how like a a, a man he thinks a child is his and he raised that as his own mm -hmm. and ended up not being his. He heartbroken. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know. I was reading the story like that this morning. Really? Yeah, it was it was some uh, came, you know, like some that came on one of those news uh, feeds that that's on my phone, and uh, the guy he had uh, he had three sons with the lady. And uh, I guess they had been married for about 20 years. And uh, neither of the sons were his. He, he, I, 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 I heard about that. Yeah, he, he found <laughs> out because when he went to the doctor, uh, he had some type of uh, some yeah. type of disease. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, and so he, he, he couldn't have kids. And that's how he found out. But I was like, because I, 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 I thought about that. I, I I actually had a woman uh, uh, on Facebook. She didn't say it, but she was trying to make you know make the accusations sort of that that uh, her son may be mine. Like like whoever she thought was the dad turned out after three tests that he wasn't the dad. He wasn't the dad, but he had been the dad for like fifteen years. So just her saying it to me, I'm I'm sitting here like, hold up, how can I come in the middle of any of that? Hey, hey, let me ask you a question, because I I thought I maybe I misheard what you said. Did you say three different tests? Like like this more? Yeah. yeah, like they had they had multiple tests. You are man. not the father. Yeah. Yeah. And. Uh, <laughs> And quite, and I, I guess I gotta, I gotta, I gotta put, I gotta inject some more truth serum in here. <laughs> Cause with, with the whole talk, oftentimes with the whole talk like we having right now, we're not talking about the in the the inappropriate choices that are being made. Why are you laying down with this person? You know what I'm saying, like. You're having multiple children, and you don't, or you're having you're in a situation where you don't know what a dad is. Why are you doing that? And then it come up like it's like a, it's like a, I hate to use a reference like this, but coming to America, the first one, the real one, right? When they came in, <laughs> when they came in, they was throwing all the flowers in the barber shop, right? And you know, you know, the king come in, big, big king, you know, Zamundi walk in, they talk, you know, they looking for a king, whatever. Then they walk out, but them flowers still on the floor. And, and Eddie like, hey, who gonna clean up all these flowers? <laughs> it's like, you made a mess. 
Yeah. We're gonna clean it up. Yeah. And it becomes it becomes <laughs> it becomes the men who got who have a heart. <laughs> Cause the other men ain't thinking about it. It, it becomes certain men that they're gonna clean it up. And then what do you get for cleaning it up? Cause there's been no change in the actual uh there's been no change in behavior. You see, it's like you got too many set. You got okay, so you got the state that could that could that could take care of this kid. Then you got a man that's gonna come in and take care of this kid. And in certain instances, if he there, he might not necessarily be the biological father, but he can be put on hook for child support. In certain instances. Mm -hmm. So I just look at that. I'm like, hmm. I think this kind of go back to the to the uh, to the to the conversation we had a, a couple meters ago when we was talking about what to look at look at in a wife. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I just could never see myself being with somebody who's not a virgin, um, just because like to me, I'm not I'm not saying that I'm not saying that. Don't don't miss don't 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 don't. Here we go, Barack Obama. <laughs> 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 what I'm say what you about to say? But do you share drawers with people? Say no. again. What'd I you said, do you do you share do you share underwear with people? Who are you talking to? I'm just asking. No. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. I, 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 why why would I why would I go into somebody who's already who's already been in by other men? You know what I'm saying? That's just like sharing draw. That that's that's to me. Uh, it's it's way it's way more. It's, it's way worse. Will it just? It, I don't. I wouldn't see myself, you know, being with somebody who's not a virgin. But that, hey, hey. But mm -hmm. quite honestly, that's the standard. Yeah. That's the standard. Yeah. You know that that is this that is biblically that is the standard, and yeah. that's what I'm saying. There's no. That's why I'm talking about behavior. Like there's no like. If, if, because on one hand, you see a huge void, right? You see a huge void that needs to be filled. But at the same time, who gonna clean up all these flowers? Like, who's go, who are we gonna address what's actually happening to stop this? Because in our community, it's, a, it's really out, it's out of control. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, it's causing a lot of different problems. It's causing yeah. a lot of different problems. So, yeah, I, I mean that is the standard, brother. That ain't that's nothing. There's nothing wrong with that. Is the absolutely biblical. That's how I, I try to look at things through biblical lens. That's hundred percent the standard. And yeah, the men have to step up and do and, and do, do do the job. Uh, it's the only way it's gonna change, you know. Or 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 you be like, I ain't doing that. That's what Austin said. <laughs> yeah, like if if because if it would change if men because see if men are gonna step up, you can keep doing it. No, no, I'm talking That's about like stepping if up. You like keep flowers, I'm gonna keep using this reference. If you keep throwing flowers on the ground and, and, and somebody come up sweeping them up, and you throw some more, he right behind you with a dust broom. Then, but if he like, but in the case where you saying like no to stand, I'm not doing that. And then it becomes, wait a minute. It was like kind of like back in the day, like, wait a minute, it's too much of a stigma attached with this. It's too much of a consequence attached to this inappropriate behavior. I can't engage in this inappropriate behavior. Cause you know, so then because that one thing, men, men engage in it, but they'll they'll be held accountable if that woman puts certain things in motion. Women, not the same way. That's 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 just reality. So, yeah, I don't know. You know, men stepping up is one thing, but well, I'm saying step up the right standard. there at the beginning. What's that? I'm saying stepping up right there at the beginning. You know, uh, if, if if they get a lady pregnant, you know, not to uh, not to uh, leave, you know, but to but to stay there and be, you know, be a couple and, and raise the child, you know. Yeah, uh, I. I I agree. You're mm -hmm. supposed to take care of your children. I agree with that, hundred percent. But it ain't even really no but after that. But 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 at the same time, 
I look at it, I'm like, why you land down with somebody that won't that wouldn't even take care of kid that you wouldn't have a kid with? I mean, wouldn't marry it, rather. Yeah, yeah. Don't put the cart before the mule uh, concept. Yeah. yeah, like why would you? Yeah, and and with and it doing and it's being done because there's no consequences. There's really no consequence. Somebody else gonna clean this up. Yeah, a lot of people. I see a lot of younger people just. They, they they engage in like, you know, the boyfriend, girlfriend thing. And a lot of times they just play in house. And to me, it's like, um, I look at it, especially a lot of the uh, people, a lot of the men that's my age, they don't, they don't, I don't understand how you don't, how you have time to even, to even be with somebody else. Like, how do you not have enough ambition or enough, um, enough drive to achieve something in your life for yourself? before you even get with somebody. And I see a lot of people just doing that, you know, wasting time and just like, you, you, you trip, trip, so. Yeah. That's, yeah. Yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a complex situation. It's a delicate situation. Um, but. Brother Austin, uh, what you were talking about is somebody who's pursuing a goal. <laughs> uh, a lot of people aren't pursuing gold. <laughs> yeah, yeah, some of them. <laughs> Right. And they're just going to the next thing. Yeah. You, are we, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, it's the best right. it's going to get. So I might as well. Well, you have a plan and a direction that you've already set up and, and goals you're trying to attend. And you did it in order. Like when we were talking about arranged marriages, uh, you have to do these certain things before you can even consider this. Yeah. Like my wife would say, When are you going to marry me? I said, When I can feed myself. <laughs> I said, I'm gonna get married to you before I get I got somewhere to rest my head and, and you know, so I understand what you're saying, brother. That, that's a good point. Yeah, that is, yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. Yeah. Um, I don't know if anybody else had anything, but iPhone 3. He was listening. It's the FBI. The <laughs> hey, man, that's your boy, man. I ain't gonna say hang up on him. You said that's my wife. That's a that's the deacon, ain't it? That's the D. I can't even I can't. I ain't saying that's my boy. That's the that's the uh good deacon. Oh, I'm sorry. The deacon, yeah. That's a good deacon. No, I'm just I'm just joking, brother. Uh, he uh, but I don't even know if he's still there. He ain't he ain't answering. I'm about to hang up on him. <laughs> <laughs> this conversation in uh particular, uh, brother Austin reminded me when Moses was talking to the Lord, and uh, the Israelites was pretty much asking asking the whole world of Moses and Moses is like, are these my children? Did I birth them? <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah, it's a responsibility with, with uh, yeah. Yeah. I just look at, I just look at certain things. I try to observe certain situations, man. I just look at certain things, you know. It's a lot of, it's a lot of, uh, a lot of, a lot of costs, a lot of sacrifice, with a little benefit in a lot of cases. Then you can have a case where you can have a relationship that a child is closer to you. You can't tell them. Like I said, my uh, my uncle was like that. His daughter, that's his daughter. We passed. It, that's his daughter. You can't tell. Them. You couldn't tell them nothing else. And they had a beautiful relationship. You know, he raised her. She was, and she was, she was. Besides eating that cheesecake that one day, I can't say one thing she did that was wrong. <laughs> be honest, she, went, she was pleasant, did what she was supposed to do, uh, went to school, got all A's on, you know, she, you know, she, if you looked at her in high school, you're the most likely to succeed type thing, you know, but that was, that was, that was, uh, that was her though, that was just, she was going to be like that anyway, you know, she voice of reason, she was going to be like that, so. But uh, all right, brother. I don't know if anybody else said anything. I appreciate y'all, brothers, man, giving y'all input. You know, sometimes I had to ask these questions. You know, I said, man, I wonder where they where they changed my mind. You know, with something that said or you know made me think. You know, uh, <laughs> I know, I know uh -huh. women who couldn't have any children. Say again. I, I know a woman that couldn't have any children, so uh -huh. she could be in children. And then I was thinking about Willie. Wait, I'm sorry, but say that again for me. Oh. I know a lady who was, she was barren. Okay. Well, she took in other other people's children and raised them. Mm -hmm. And uh, the reason why I bring it up, uh, Brother Willie talking about the heart that his father had. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. 
um, some people are built to do it. Yeah, you're right. It's like being a nurse. Everybody can't do that. You ever had a bad nurse? Yes. You ever like, you need another job. But you ever had a good <laughs> nurse? <laughs> you need to sell insurance or something. But you ever, you ever had a good nurse though? Right, they it's certain certain things you built, you know, you built for that. Like us uh, teachers, you got teachers that I'm talking about in school. You had a bad teacher before that was crazy, and you like, why are you in this profession? You hate kids. Then you had a good teacher. Oh, that was my favorite teacher. It's certain things, you know, certain things you built for. People are built for. Yeah, like I said, like his father, he said he had that much love. You know, I was I was coming from a, from a position of I just have to I have to run my house the right way. And I can't let nobody else say you can't. Like I said, I, I, I'm not against adopting somebody. Like if it had to, if somebody came in a situation, it would have to, that would have to be now my child. That was all I was saying. Cause if it's not, it's too many ways in which this could be tried, they could try to derail this. Too many fingers in the pot. only way, yeah. that's the yeah. only way it really makes sense. That's, yeah. that's the only way it makes sense to me. Yeah, that you, know, it, yeah. you know, like, uh, and in and, and some instances where uh, people, they take a, a, they take children under their wings, they taking care of a woman and them children, they saying, that's my daddy. You know, so they ain't even, cause that other guy, he ain't even in the picture. Right. You know, they, they look at the, the person who's taking care of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's kind of big. Yeah. Brother Wayman about to get on, he having trouble. He having trouble. Say again, you said brother Wayman. Yeah, he, he, uh, I thought he was on already. Nah, he's on, but he's having trouble trying to understand how to unmute himself. Oh, by pushing, mm. un pushing unmute. Can he hear it? He can hear, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think he can hear, but there you go. I just asked unmute. Did you unmute? Did you unmute? Yeah, that's, that's yeah. yeah. Can you hear me? Turn your radio down. Turn your radio down. That's the only way. I don't have a radio on. Joking, bro. That's how, they, that's how they call, you know, they call the radio station. They still had a radio on. They take care of a woman and You gotta turn off YouTube. Yeah, brother, turn off YouTube. You gotta turn off YouTube. You gotta turn off YouTube. You know, they make Technology. That's <laughs> not my radio. That's my speaker. That's talking. Oh, oh, turn your speaker down. Say again. You said brother Wayman. Yeah, that's they they use <laughs> me. I thought he was on already. Nah, he, we hear you, brother. <laughs> you hey hey bro, you got something to add, brother? You want to add to the convo? Yeah, right. Oh, hold on, yes. man. Yeah. Wait, wait. You yeah. got to turn that down though. Yeah. There you go. I just asked on you. Did you have something? Did you have something? Yeah, that's not that's, 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 that's my speaker. Yes, we understand. Can you turn your speaker down? <laughs> Hello? I don't think he can hear you when you turn your speaker down. Oh, uh, he don't need to hit, well. You gotta turn your phone off Bluetooth if you got it on Bluetooth. You gotta turn it off Bluetooth and you gotta make sure you got Zoom, you gotta make sure you got Zoom on and not YouTube. Cause that screenshot you sent me, that looked like YouTube. I don't know if that was YouTube or Zoom, but it didn't look like Zoom. Bro, you still you there, brother? Um, don't hang up. <laughs> uh, he, he he texted you. Oh, hold on. So. Let me ask you this. Is he on the phone? On the phone? I mean, not on the phone. Is yeah. he, yeah, is he on the phone on Zoom? Oh, there you go. Hey, I see your face. You, uh, can you talk? Can you, can, can you speak without the echo? Or can you hear me? <laughs> I can hear something. Yeah, we good now, bro. No, we not. 
Still has an echo. <laughs> yeah, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, can you can hear me? We can hear you. We got you. We got you. Okay. Yeah, it, something finally came up where I can uh, get on. Uh, my video was turned off. So, and my speaker was, so I guess my video was turned off, so my mute was on as a result of that. I unmuted, it, but I still had no video. Mm. Okay, but have, I, I was just have. listening. You know, I, I, was, I was busy running around here doing things. <clears throat> I think you commented about me earlier. I think I heard you saying something when you first started. But I was busy, and I wasn't sure what you was talking about because I was in the kitchen doing something. Oh, I was asking, who was iPhone 3? I was joking. Three. I was yeah, yeah. Um, I figured you was, but I, it wasn't. Of course, I couldn't say anything, but nothing was coming through. Okay. Yeah, interesting discussion. Uh, 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 Brother Austin was definitely uh, uh, where we probably all should be in mm -hmm. our thinking. And I just wished I had thought the way he thought uh, when I was his age. So I'm saying that so he can also keep that thought and not let that go because it does, you know, just everything we talked about really comes down to the relationship of that man and a woman. And of course, if you've entered into that relationship with a woman that has kids or a man that has kids, you've already been outside of the relationship with God. And that's going to create a lot of problems. So unless you both can come to an understanding as to who God is and what his commandments and statutes are, and you come together and clean up what you've done, and then come together and start over fresh, but deal with those kids accordingly, then something like that, you know, it, it could work. It won't be a Brady Bunch situation. I don't know what that mess was with the Brady Bunch. <laughs> But uh, in the real world, if you both can come together and realize that, hey, we both made mistakes, or I made a mistake, and you both just trying to clean that up, um, then you know you can you can somehow, in some way, you can work that out. But it, it still comes back down to what we probably I don't know if y'all mentioned that, but you have to understand that the children are the fruit of the womb, which are the, which are God's. So if we understand that this not my child, it's not your child, but it's God's child, mm -hmm. and it's our responsibility to teach that child what does say the Lord, then all that other personal stuff flies out the window. Amen. Yeah, I appreciate, yeah, I appreciate that, Mr. Wayman. That, Mr. Wayman. Brother Wayman, that, Brother Wayman. I, we're about like that here. Uh, we're just trying to clean up our past messes. I mean, you know, it's on both sides. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you know, if Brother Elijah, you're talking about brothers stepping in and trying to clean some mess up, but you can clean something up if somebody's not on the same page and they're still doing dirty things or they're still not obeying the commandments and statutes and judgment. They're not on board with you um, you're saying, Elijah, uh, you're saying, listen, this is my house. Most brothers don't have a situation like that. Mm -hmm. They're not coming into a house that they own. They come into somebody else's house and trying to be a part of something that is out of order. Right. And they're out of order for coming to do that. Yeah, I can't. So do. listen, live in a box, live in a refrigerator box outside. That's your box. And if you need another box, wait till somebody buy a new refrigerator. Get the box, but you got your own box, you know, <laughs> and you and what you say in that box, that's that's what goes. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. And, and until until we start understanding that and stand up and be men in that order, I'm not saying that in terms of this is how I've lived my life. I have not done that, but I've come to that understanding from the things that I have done. So. We need to raise our men up to be men and say, look, if you, you, whatever you have, whatever you live in, your primary responsibility is do what does say the Lord and to be a man in doing that. So that's, you know, that's, that's kind of hard to, 
to do with all the influence of television and friends and family, that's really hard to do because they think you're crazy. So just just stay on your task and continue to do that because you know you you you're trying to get into a place that obviously they're not trying to get into. So just do what you need to do to get into what's coming. Amen, brother. My brother was preaching. Yeah, he was. We needed it. Yeah. You got yeah. on an hour ago. Yeah. 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 Now, we appreciate it. We appreciate that. Yeah, that's um. Yeah. We got to do what we're supposed to be doing. Wherever we at, you know, whatever circumstance, like you were saying, brother, you got to nail it. And, and then you said something. You said, I didn't, I didn't, I'm not saying this because I did this, but I came to this understanding. You know, yep. living. I mean, that's 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 how you, it's it's ways to learn. You can go through it, or you can take the advice that he just laid down. Uh, he said the most profound thing I heard him say that the children belong to God. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, that too. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so yeah, we're gonna end on that. Yes, sir. So we're gonna end on that. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Glad I'm glad that brother figured it out. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad that brother figured it out. I thought he was going to hang up on you, brother. <laughs> can, can you begin to imagine how happy I am? <laughs> Say again. Can you begin to imagine how happy I am? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you, glad, you glad I figured out. How glad do you think I am? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and brothers and brothers at home say sisters brothers uh i appreciate y'all it's been it's been uh like i say interesting conversation yeah. uh, we're gonna cap we're gonna put a cap on the what brother wayman just said and uh and some of y'all i see brother brother elder brother josh brother austin i see y'all soon okay. and, uh, peace peace appreciate y'all all right family peace out family Peace, everyone. Peace to all of you all. Good listening to you always. Yep. Yeah. 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 Peace, brother. Bless. All right. Take care.